vandals have destroyed sacred artwork in South Australia thought to be about 30,000 years old. The Nullarbor Plain art, which are designs carved into the chalk limestone walls of the Kunalda Cave, has special significance for the region's Aboriginal Murning people. The vandals are thought to have dug under a steel gate before scrawling Don't Look Now, but this is a death cave on the walls the authorities are investigating. This is quite frankly shocking. South Australia Attorney General and Aboriginal Affairs Minister Cam Marr told ABC Radio, these caves are some of the earliest evidence of Aboriginal occupation of that part of the country. Senior Murning Elder Uncle Bunna Laurie told the BBC he first heard about the devastating vandalism from the media and said it was another example of the constant disrespect his people had experienced. It's abuse to our country and it's abuse to our history, he said. What's gone is gone. We're never going to get it back. The Kanalda Cave has been listed as a national heritage site since 2014. Mr. Marr said that those found responsible for the vandalism could face prosecution, something Mr. Lorry says he would welcome, but Mr. Marr and the federal government have been criticized both by elders and cave experts who say they raised the issue of poor security around the site months ago. Individuals found to have damaged an Aboriginal site or item currently face a fine of a 1006, 700, 5,500 pounds or up to six months in prison under South Australia's Aboriginal heritage laws. However, the authorities have vowed to strengthen these laws following an inquiry into the destruction of